And so here we are saying, let's search for life in the universe, intelligent life like us. Well, who are we to say that we're intelligent? I, I mean, I pose that not as a joke question, but it's a very serious question. We define ourselves to be intelligent in ways that no other creature can rival. Okay, now what do we credit that intelligence to? So you look at the genome, and let's take the chimp. I guess that's a really close relative of ours. And we have, what is it, 90, high 90s percent identical, indistinguishable DNA. And the chimp does not build the Hubble telescope, and the chimp does not compose symphonies. So we must then declare that everything we say about us that is intelligent is found in that one and a half percent difference in DNA. Is that first, is that a fair statement to make? Okay. Let me invert that question. If the genetic difference between humans and chimps is that small, maybe the difference in our intelligence is also that small. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the difference between stacking boxes and reaching a banana, putting up an umbrella when it rains, whatever are these rudimentary things a chimp does that the primatologists roll them forward and boast about, which of course our toddlers can do, maybe the difference between that and the Hubble telescope is as small as that difference in DNA. Because I pose the question, suppose there was another life form on Earth or elsewhere, that in that same sort of vector, that one and a half percent difference we are to chimps, suppose they were one and a half percent different from us. They would then roll the smartest of us in front of their hum humatologists <laughs> and say, the Hawking, there's Hawking, oh, this one is slightly smarter than the rest of them because he can do astrophysics calculations in his head. <laughs> <laughs> like little Timmy over here. <laughs> so I wonder if we're just blithering idiots in the presence of even a trivially smarter species than us. So therefore, who are we to even assert that, number one, we are intelligent and we're looking for others at least as intelligent as us out there to talk to? By the way, is there any other species on Earth that we can talk to? Can, can we have a conversation with a chimp that has nearly identical DNA? And I don't think we can actually say, hey, what movie do you want to see tonight? But you don't have that conversation with a chimp, yet somehow we believe we want to believe that an alien on another planet that's not even based on DNA, and even if it is, it's not nothing like us, that we could communicate with it. Yeah. And I wonder, you know, surely you've walked past a worm that had just crawled out of the earth, and when you did so, you weren't saying to yourself, gee, I wonder what that worm is thinking. You, didn't, you just simply didn't care. You're so far beyond the... I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm imagining you simply really don't care what the worm is thinking. And the worm, conversely, has no clue that you consider yourself intelligent. You're just this thing that went by. So can you imagine a species that has such high intelligence that the prospect of communicating with us is simply of no interest to them? Yeah, I can, yeah. And they go by and we, their intelligence is on such a level that we can't even recognize it yes. as intelligence. Yes.